What's up, guys? Desert B here, playing some more Hogwarts Legacy. We just fought our first troll. That was insane. It came right in here and burst through one of these uh, buildings, and we had to fight it. And then I had to clean up town, basically. And then uh, the shopkeeper right here with the at the Glad Rags Wizard Wear, he gave me a new robe, I think, or he maybe just like imbued my robe with some kind of magical ability. Anyway, I've got like an offense up now or something. I think it's offense up. So we're off to the three broomsticks with Sebastian. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Okay. I guess it's way before the time of Madame Rosmerta. Ooh, there's a flying page. Nobody's gonna... Oh, come on. Two flying pages, in fact. Oh, no. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Oh, that's Rookwood. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? His face looks All really good. All you need good. to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Uh, I'm not Let's a. Go. It's not me. Oh gosh. Did they see us? Duh. I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Yeah, they're just gonna stand there talking. Come on, guys. I know you're only 15, it's but come on. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Imagine biting your tongue as a goblin with those teeth. <laughs> now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Oh. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say... <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <laughs> Uh oh. Oh, I'm pretty sure. What was her name? Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Serona. Not to Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Theophilus? That's quite the name. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Great. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Jeez. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. I think so too, after we look around for a minute, just real quick. It's so dark in here. 
I just want to see if there's anything interesting in here to look at real quick. I really like Serona, though. Um, she's very protective of me and I just am going to drink whatever that was off the table. Oh, my gosh. Oh, brooms. When do I get a broom? All right, where's Sebastian? Oh, can I go upstairs? I'm not sure what's up here. I, why is it so dark? Aha, see, it was worth our time. Oh my gosh, wait, a Cobalt Debonair Ensemble? Hold on, there's a better way to do this, is if you just hit, like, the pause button instead of scanning through. Um, here we go. It's a defense up four. No trait applied. I don't really know what that means. Let's equip this. <laughs> Hold on, what does it look like without the robe? Or wait. Yeah. And turn this off. I look like a fancy 1800s horse rider. <laughs> I don't know if I like this. Maybe it's not for me. Maybe if I get a broom and I go without a cloak, or maybe the this with uh, the other cloak. I mean, that's a little better, but I feel too dark arts like. Okay. I mean, it's nice, but I'm gonna have to pass. I'll change my outfit eventually. Just waiting for the right one. Wow. Oh, wow. There's like four floors to this place? All right, hold on. Ooh, secret door. Oh, you know what? This is the secret entrance. I just am. Um... I kind of am blanking, is the secret entrance to Hogwarts, like that secret passageway between Hogwarts and Hogsmeade, is it in the three broomsticks or is it in the hog's head? Level locked, come on. Whatever. I can't remember it though. I wonder if those secret passages still exist, or I mean, not still, if they exist yet? Since, technically speaking, we are in the past. All right, let's get out of here. Find Sebastian. Down another flight of stairs. Wow. Oh, it's dark. Ooh. You're going to walk right into a pole? Or what are we doing? I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Me too. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Hollow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Oh, right. You must return to the common room for the night. Access the map. Select Hogwarts map button to switch. Okay, Hogwarts. Fast travel, no, I wanna walk. Fast travel to my common room. Which one is mine? Is it flashing at me and I just don't see it? No. Well, where is it? Bell Tower, Library, Astronomy, Grand Staircase, the Great Hall, the South Wing. Am I blind? Oh, no, that's not it. Well, I don't know. Let's go to the Grand Staircase, I guess. Oh, here it is. Gryffindor common room. So we're in the the south wing. I guess I'll remember that for future reference. 
mean, I wanted to walk and see what the trail between Hogwarts and Hogsmeade looks like at night. I haven't gotten to see like anything at night yet. Well, rested. I put my gloves on because we were traveling. Complete side quest relationship quest. Is that what that said? So since we are wrong button, I keep doing that. Since we're inside the castle, let's go ahead and take these gloves off. Okay. Um, what is this? Legendary cape, scarf. Okay. Um, let's see. So what's my next quest? Regroup with Professor Fig. I can't even track it. Oh, you received an owl post from Professor Fig. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Okay. Where is my owl? I haven't even seen my owl. Um, okay. Well, yeah. Let's just head straight down and talk to um How Nice to see you, my young friend. Oh. <laughs> Apple? Gotta have breakfast. When will the first years understand? No password, no entrance. <gasps> <laughs> Fat lady's frustrated. Those first years. So far, we're pretty much sticking to the um, the main quests. We'll do side quests and stuff too, though, I guess. I don't really want to find that one girl's gobstones. Could care less. But I do. Oh, look, a house elf. Oh. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. I guess we're not meant to talk to them. I wanted to look at the side quests. Lenora mentioned that the painting. Oh, yeah, that might be cool to do. And you get some kind of a new appearance. Um, and then I do want to do this. I want to speak with Luke and Brattleby about the secret dueling club. So, should I do that before I talk to the professor? Let's see what happens if I track this. Discover the secret painting. Oh, wait, it's showing me on the map. I always forget this. Or is this still tracking the main? I hope not. That is some lively music. Oh, it's these guys. Oh my gosh, that's like a musical hallway. I love it. This is awesome. Cool little tapestry there. Oh, an armored horse statue. That is so cool. Um, where am I going? I want to see if we can do Whee! this. It's Peeves. Where are you? I heard him, but I don't see him. Um, hold on. I need to go down. No, this is taking me to... Hold up. It's tracked. Okay, it is taking me to the right thing. I was... Because it's gold and my marker is, like, white or silver, I was thinking that it was taking me to the the main quest, but oh my gosh, I have not been on this bridge yet. Whoa, what are those? Like full, like balloons or something? How is the castle this gorgeous? 
Oh, man. Never gonna get over it. So... I'm not sure where... Where am I? Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. The flu flame was discovered. Okay, that's awesome. The more of those I can discover, the better, right? Whoa! What are these? They're like part of the plant. Nice to see other students just wandering around. Don't these people have classes? Don't I have classes? Now I'm in the central hall. So... What does it mean? It's blue. Lumos. Oh. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. How am I going to remember this? So it's like a staircase with a round painting on the wall and a white pillar. Muggle school is so dull hold on, hold on. A white pillar with a that so that oh look uh how do i akio akio <laughs> okay where did it go there we go i really have made a mess of things is everything all right oh hello Nice to see you again. Thank you for asking. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You might recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the common room. Well, I mastered that. And now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. <laughs> that's amazing. Seems like a lot of... Yeah, that's amazing. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Hmm, okay, sure. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. <laughs> if you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Okay, sure. Flying off the shelves. Now, what I... Back to what I was doing, which was... Looking for a pillar. Here's another one of these. So here are the round pillars. Or I mean, like, the marble pillars with a... Hold on, can I look at the picture again? And there's a fountain in the middle, a staircase on the left with a marble pillar with a spiral. I feel like it's right here. Staircase on the left. Oh. Revelio. A Revelio. The central hall fountain. This ornate fountain features intricately carved statues of denizens of the magical world, including a set of stone sirens encircling the fountain's base. Yeah, those are really cool. Someone bound to solve the riddle of the empty painting soon. Well, I'm trying. That girl's talking about the empty painting. I revealed it. I just don't know. These all have the same pillars. I hope these pillars aren't all throughout the school. They might be, though. 
No, those are different pillars up there. Those are different pillars. I don't know. This might take some... This might take some searching. I'll just... He just moved. I'll just have to be on the lookout, I guess, for something that looks similar. None of these staircases have a pillar. What is that? What the heck did that do? Okay. Hmm. Okay. I don't want to go collect her library books right now. Let's go back to, um... Professor Fig. Now, where is Professor Fig? I'm still looking for a spiral pillar up a staircase. So, in case you're wondering what I'm doing. Oh! Hold on, hold on. Oh, I went the wrong way. This way. Oh, back outside. Oh my gosh, I can't get over all the greenery. We just don't have that here where I am. <laughs> like, at all. Oh, a kitty! Urge defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. Who are you? Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Sallow. He never backs down from the fight. How does everybody know? Oh, wait, Sallow is um, Sebastian. Never mind. I'm still curious about this, the Rookwood character because Rookwood was in that memory. What are you up to now? And it looks like he was helping the guy in the memory, right? What is this? Revenia. But now this Rookwood seems to be an enemy. Oh, wait. There's a chest icon. Oh. Professor Fig. As if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the Ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts, a fifth year if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them acclimatize before term begins. I've assigned the task to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Professor Phineas Nigellus Black, Headmaster. And where's this chest? I'm right on top of it. Maybe it's on a different floor. A what? I don't know what that was. Rebellion. I don't know. All right, let's go. Yeah, I mean, you see that chest icon. I was standing right on top of it. Whoa, this is his office? What is that? It's so cluttered. <laughs> but cool. Darker than I thought it would be. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow, like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is grave news indeed. 
If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Okay, Ranrock and Rookwood want the locket? Sir, about the goblins at Gringotts. What's this? Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I uh. do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. But the one goblin guard was wearing the same thing. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library, the restricted section to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Heckett know to expect you. Okay, so let's complete the locket's secrets. I think we can do the flying book side quest when we actually go to the library, and that would make the most sense. What is he a professor of? This classroom looks interesting. But we already know who the Defense Against the Dark Arts professor is, so it's not him. Please move out of my way. Here's another chest. Oh, but it's got the icon, like, up. So it would be like a floor above, I guess. Which I am actually technically going down, but let's just go see. Oh, this person has Oi, something. Can you help me? Arthur Plumley. Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Oh my. Following a treasure map to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. <laughs> Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Sure. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Okay. Um, where to start? Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Well, this is perfect. Very I'm going well. there right I now. I should take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Okay, yeah. Well, that's, uh... Oh. So... A door. How do you read this thing? You got a Aki Akio something. Uh, there's a dragon twirling down a pole, a door here, a dragon statue. How do you read this thing? And then the rhinoceros statue. <laughs> I don't know. None of, that, none of that made any sense to me. Anyways, I am sort of trying to see if we can find... Join the goblins, goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? Peeves. In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister <laughs> for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbye. That's hilarious. Um, I think I've lost the chest. I don't know where I am at this point. Okay, let's get out of here. This looks a lot like. 
in trouble. Somebody Call else's me, dorm room. Or Jesus like a common a room. Boom, and he says it's a flag. Peeves, enough. Revelio, get us all detention. <laughs> and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. This <laughs> looks like it means it's some kind of a... <laughs> There's some kind of a secret here to opening this door, but I don't know how to use this. Oh, look at this. Two would be the horse, right? Owl horse? I don't know. Oh, let's grab that. What is this? Purple haze. I don't know. Well, Madam Kagawa said she's never seen anything. Um, okay, let's go to our quest because I feel like I'm just running around being distracted by literally everything, and I hate that. Um, yeah, let's do cash in the castle because we're on the way to Hecate's um, room anyways, and this is close to it. So let's track that. Two birds, one stone. Did I track it? Maybe I untracked it. Uh, which one? Cash in the castle. Well, there's no guide on my map. How am I going to get there? I'll be running around blindly. Um. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I most. Oh, I see. I see. Is this what the purple is? Why is everything purple? Level locked. Come on. Pavelio. No, that's not what I want. I wonder. So the purple actually is showing the pin is showing that it's down a level. If I'm reading this map right, where are the stairs in this place? Let's just jump off the balcony. <laughs> oh my gosh! I thought I thought I almost was gonna be able to do it. How do I get down? Oh, here we go. Yeah, these guys are all wearing Ravenclaw colors, so I wonder if we're close to the Ravenclaw dorm room, or common room. Let's go down again. I'm trying to find where this pin is. Okay, so now this looks like... Oh, and this is the statue. Huh. Am I not a skeleton? I'm on the right track. Revelio. Well, something... Something is making a weird noise right here. How do I see the map? Um... Looks as if I'm supposed to find a dragon fountain. The tree in the background makes me think that it's in a courtyard. A door behind it has been circled. Okay. Courtyard. Whoa, look at that. Um, how do I get outside? I wish I could look at the map again. I don't know how, though. The treasure map. How about, like, this map? So I'm right here. There's a courtyard just right in front of me. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstone. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. And then there was a door circled, right? The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? I know that girl has a side quest for me, but I'm busy. It was a door behind the statue, wasn't it? Yeah, we're behind the statue. Let's try this one. Quests can be tracked in the logbook. I don't know why it's telling me that. Pavelia. 
Hmm. History of magic. Level lock. Come on. Oh, there's a ghost. Hi. Guess I can't talk to him. I feel like this maybe. This stairwell looks promising. Oh. Promising for what? This looks like the portrait from the map. Now, where's the treasure? It said I had to Accio something, Rebecca. didn't it? Let's, uh... Lumos. That didn't Rebecca. work. Did that work? Uh... Accio. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. What did that do? What am I supposed to do? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh. There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. No, I get to go in the portrait? Oh, well, kind of in. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Wow. Okay, let's see what we got. That was uh, freaking cool. How do we get into the gear? Oh, I got a wand handle. Is that what I... No, this is what I got earlier. A kingly checkerboard handle designed in light and dark blue topped with a bronze crown. It's ugly. I don't, I don't think I like it. Nah. But what's the thing that I just got? No, it wasn't these. It was this. Authentic historian's uniform. Okay, so let's go to gear and then to this. So this is what I just got. Hoo hoo. A cloak befitting a student of history earned by following the treasure map given by Arthur Plumley. We can wear that for a while. That's kind of cool. Sweet. Okay, that was fun. Now, return to Arthur. So let's go see if he got anything cool out of his. Or maybe he wasn't able to figure his out. Sometimes you come up to the door and it, like, you get the a little... All right, all right. Let's talk Are to this girl. Brilliant. Hello, Nelly. You seem excited about something. The Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Okay. Why would a headmistress do such a thing? Why don't you follow? No, I'll do it. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. Didn't we hear one, I like, right here? I keys, at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find. Yeah, that. What is that? Oh, that just might be shears pruning the, um, the thing. Okay, we're not gonna track. Give me... Like, I don't like how it auto-tracks anything. You could just be talking to random, like, anybody. Uh, we're doing cash. I don't want it to auto-track like that. Let's go talk to Arthur Plumley. Keep an eye on high places around the school for what some obvious cobblestones. Oh, how do we do Reparo? Lumos. No, wrong one. Reparo. Oh, look at how gorgeous this is. We're right on the lake. Oh, she's sad. Why? It's a beautiful view. And mu that must be the lover's thing that what's his name told me about earlier and I couldn't find the statue. Okay, where's Arthur? 
Arthur. I like how they've put all of these neat little secrets in the castle. Because, you know, like in the movies, Hogwarts was full of secrets. And I really feel like they did a good job with that in this game. Because, I mean, literally everything moves and talks. And I feel like every tiny little thing is just like, there's some secret behind it that we can discover. And that's really, that makes exploring really fun. Especially when it leads to fun stuff like new gear and clothes and whatever. Where's Arthur? Oh, here he is. Made any progress with your treasure map? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever. Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. <laughs> what did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky. Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, mine definitely sounds more interesting. Well, so. on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. Okay, so I did get a little XP for that. Sweet. All right, let's go into my quests. Where are they? Inventory level maps quests. We're going to Professor... Oh, no, this one. Professor Hecate's... Oh, we're going to learn Incendio. Yes. Um, I think that was one of the spells that Sebastian was using against the troll when we were fighting with him. So I'm glad that we're finally going to learn that one. What's the scroll? It says 30 meters down. Is that just my... Oh, that's my... That's where I'm going, duh. And... This way. Is the... Is the camera controls bothering anybody? How do you get to options? I don't know if that's going to help at all, but I did change the sensitivity and the... Like, how fast the camera moves. I don't know if... I don't know, the camera... I don't like being, like, swung around so fast, I guess, when I turn the camera. It makes me feel nauseous. I get car sick really easily, and sometimes I definitely feel that in games, too. All right, Professor Hecate. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. <laughs> when you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Oh, wait a minute. Win two rounds of crossed ones? Complete a round of spell combination practice with Luke and Brattleby. Those crossed ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Oh. Said that travel so she... Wait, and where am I going? She knows about the the secret and un... And, what did he call it? Called it a... Secret club? I forget what he called it. But anyways, yeah, it was, she said it, it's funny how much students think that the professors don't know. Considering these professors were students. So, like, the stuff that we think we're so clever doing, they probably invented it. Like, they came before us. Where am I? Oh, this is a door. Sometimes, like, it looks like a dead end. All of Herodiana? What did that say? Herodiana? I don't know how to say that. So we're going to go do the Luke and Brattleby thing. Like, I, it was a side quest, but now we're going to go do it anyways. Rebellion. The haunted toilet, unless in dire straits. It's probably best to avoid this particular toilet, as it is allegedly one of Peeves' favorite pranking spots. It's locked! What is this level one lock? Am I not a level one? I don't get it. Simply 
glorious. Here's the girls' bathroom. Oh, this is neat. This one looks way cooler than the last bathroom I was in. Nobody's brewing anything in this bathroom. Oh, well, somebody left pastries by the toilet. That's disgusting. Okay, let's move on. Why did the music get very Adam's Family all of a sudden? Oh, look at this view. What's that? I want to go there. Oh, this must be the Quidditch pitch over here. Somebody is screaming or yelling or something. Okay, anyways, enough sightseeing. Glad you could make it. The Luke clock just tower. Hold on. I want to look. Bethelia. What does it mean? Lumos. Or maybe Hell. I. Why is it blue? Lumos. I don't understand. Ravenia. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was thinking because it's blue, like you got to use one of your blue spells on your loadout down there, but no, that was actually um, Leviosa. What the heck? Oh my gosh. I guess it did say that we're in the clock tower. Um, all right, where is Lucan? Being creepy over here in the Can dark corner. Lucan, you're a child, like a baby. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. Duh. I did take him down a peg. <laughs> I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Sure, yeah. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in crossed ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Oh yeah. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! Is he a first year? Oh, we're we'll dueling against you them? Signing up. Astoria Cricket looks mean! Okay, break through yellow shields with control spells like the levitation spell Leviosa. Target lock R3 lets you track enemies without aiming. Use R3 to change, or use R to change. Okay. Um, what's Leviosa? Wrong button. Are we winning? Oh, we gotta get Astoria's down. Nice, yes. Okay, I did read that one of you guys in the comments said when the orange, when the orange like shield thingy appears on my character, that means I can block. But if it's red, I have to dodge. So that's helpful to know. Victory. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second duel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought.
All right, Let's well, send me up. Again. Yeah, like, hook it up. Win two, yeah, we've got to do two rounds. Hello, Lucan, may I use a training dummy as the next? Yeah, let's do the next crossed Hello, ones. Lucan. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? Yup. I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Oh, um, yeah, Sebastian. Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. I guess my two BFFs are now Sebastian and Natsai. <laughs> Funny. Oh. Apologies in advance. There's three of them. And I only have two? On my team, come on. Breakthrough violet shields with force spells like the summoning charm. Okay, so hold on now. Now they're adding things to the mix. And then we can still do the target thing. Okay. So blue, you gotta do Accio. And yellow, you gotta do Leviosa. Let's see if I can remember that. Accio, that was the wrong. Akio. Oh, that's Leviosa. Which one's Accio? Shoot. Oh, wait. You got a cooldown? No way. Oh. I targeted the wrong person. <laughs> oh, somebody, somebody Leviosa'd me. Um. Wait. Wait, this is Dodge. Hold on. Let me get my bearings. I targeted it. Okay, so targeting. Oh, no. There we go. I should have dodged. I'm dying. Oh, gosh. Uh, Accio. This is actually, um, quite... This is actually quite challenging. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. That was actually tough. Bravo. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You better <laughs> keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. Or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. Okay, the my controller. The so to speak. Hold on, my controller is like stuck in vibrate mode. What the heck is going on? It's like it's glitched. Seems I'm out of the tournament thanks to you. <laughs> That's a voice. All right, hold on a second. Why is my controller doing this? There we go. It finally stopped. It was like a glitch. Oh, I think it is glitched. Well, good thing we're at the end of the episode. Complete a round of spell. Oh, let's do the spell combinations. Because we Lucan. have to do this. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? Oh, yeah. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Okay, so wait, what do I do? Accio. Oh, I see, I see. Cast Leviosa followed by four consecutive... Hey, get away from me. Gosh. Well, that was easy. Complete spell combinations without letting the dummy hit the floor, so... Oh... Okay, okay, hold on. I see. You'll get it. There we go. Okay, that was cool. I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Okay, sweet. Level locked. Quest Assignment's complete. So now we can go and speak with Professor Hackett. Um, but I'm 
maybe going to have to like restart my game or something because my controller has not stopped vibrating since we beat the last round of that cross wand thing. I don't know what is going on. Some be some students believe that a wish made over the well of four beasts, whether near the Threstral, Griffin, Chimera, or Hippogriff, will come true for one who has gained the trust of any of the four. Oh, that's cool. Okay, well, that should do it for this episode, guys. That was exciting. We found a couple of castle secrets. We did the Crossed Wands Secret Dueling Club. And, uh, yeah. So I think we're ready to go speak to Professor Hecate and... Oh, it's dark. Wow. Anyways, uh, come back next time for more. We'll move on with the, the main story in the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I'm Brittany with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to help my channel grow, all you gotta do is hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time for more.